Now on the mayor of Hallandale Beach, charged tonight with three felonies, including money laundering. CBS 4's Joan Murray live tonight at the Broward County Jail with the case that stems from an FBI sting. Joan. Well, Rick, this was a bombshell. Mayor Joy Cooper has been a fixture in that city, a longtime champion, that city of about 40,000 people. We are waiting now. She's expected to bond out of jail momentarily, but she is vowing to fight these charges. Hi, welcome to Hallandale Beach. I'm Mayor Joy Cooper. and I'm A fixture in Hallandale Beach politics nearly 20 years. Mayor Joy Cooper now finds her career crumbling, accused of campaign finance violations. She was arrested on four charges, turned herself into the Broward Jail Thursday morning. City commissioners were caught off guard. We were very saddened and very surprised. Uh, we're disheartened to hear that this news has happened and that our city will be impacted. The charges stem from an undercover FBI investigation. Cooper is charged with money laundering, official misconduct, exceeding limits on campaign contributions, all third degree felonies, and one misdemeanor, soliciting contributions in a government building. Cooper has presided over raucous meetings, often at odds with other commissioners, recently defending herself against accusations she was drunk. Commissioner Michelle Lazaro, who openly admits she is no friend of the mayor, says despite what happened, business will continue as usual. We have a process in place which allows our vice mayor to step into the mayor role. The mayor issued a statement saying, in part, I have dedicated my time and energy to focus on performing all of my duties with utmost integrity. I can assure you I will vigorously fight these allegations in court. She uh, never accepted any uh, money, uh, that anything that went into her pocket. Uh, she never accepted a campaign contribution for any quid pro quo, for any developer, anybody in her 20 years of public life. And that's Mayor Joy Cooper's attorney, Larry Davis. Uh, these charges are serious. If convicted on all of them, she faces a maximum 16 years in prison. Uh, she is expected to bond out shortly, and we'll bring that to you when it happens. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.